Hello everyone. It's Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. A few hours ago, a new update has been released, version 1.146. Feel free to pause the video to read the update notes. There's a lot of new aircraft and watercraft. As well as some fixes. Right, let's check a not so full lobby here. There's, we'll take Bravo Bravo 3, Delta Delta 1. Alright, let's announce the chat. Oh, <laughs> I got a new vehicle. Oh, I forgot, I, I was at Tecarata International with my Edelweiss A320. Here it is. It lacks the flower on the inner winglets, though. Or, not, not winglets, it's the Wingtip fences. Oh, Tony Super. Right, there should be the little Edelweiss logo with the inner wingtip fences. There should be something in this engine around here, though. But the rest are fine. Right, let's despawn. What's saving FDR data? Or FDR data, let's overhaul this A320. <laughs> Impressive. So this was my flight. I'm right here now at the... Th oh, come on. It only records the time I spawned here. Really? That's it? I was at Oscar Floyd. Oh, what a waste. Oh, it saved my data then. Oh, here's a 1011. Here are 
are the concurrent players and that's about it. Alright, let me read the notes which one to go where to go first. Right, let's go to Ockney Island before everywhere else. And this is the prototype attack helicopter, the Kantaka KTK-2, or KTK-02, whichever you'd like to call it as. And we can just, uh, oh great, no advanced configurations. Alright, there's no color one. Really, there's no color one. How about color two? Alright, color two. Let's make it like a darker. Right, 56 1 2012. Alright, that's not been fixed yet. The KTK 12. All right, let's now teleport to Aachenburg, the pseudo Edinburgh, for our first vehicle of the update. Oh, I got past it. Let's teleport using this Ice Queen, the G700. The Bristol Britannia 300. Classic airliner. <laughs> Put this at aircraft wide. Color 2, the wings. Color three, the vertical stabilizer. Right, one is the fuselage of the engines. And that's about it. The Britannia. The 300 variant. And there's also conversions. So let's let's buy this and what are they? No advanced configurations though. Alright, so you need one locked hour if you want to convert this to the cargo and four logged hours to convert it to the maritime patrol variant as we look at the database it's 
said the Maritime Patrol aircraft is the Argus, the CP-107. And also aircraft array on the wings. And the cargo liner, the Canada Air CL 44D4. The popular name of Swingtail. There, that's the hinge. Let's have a look inside and we got some pallets. The CL44D4 and the CP107. There's some Bombay doors. You know, or bomb doors. I don't want to say Bombay again. That's the CP-107. Right, so the swing tail's there, and there's also the Conroy Squite monster. Let's, where is that thing here? It's the oversized cargo liner. Converted from your swing tail. And there's the hinge. What a piece of history. And there's some Rolls Royce engines in there. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, there's something. There's a signature in here. It's, it's close to unreadable though, but yeah, I think a halter or something. But yes, here's some RB211 engines you can transport this Sky Monster with. But isn't that the A300 or something? Oh yes, I think this this for the uh, 747 or 767 engines. But there's your Conroy CL440 Sky Monster. Another Canadian. <laughs> yeah, probably another Canadian. Alright. Let's now teleport to Cantalo International for our next one. What shall we use here? Use this A330. Now look at this engine over here. It's uh Does it look better than the last update? Oh yes, they should fix this. Whoever made this also livery, they could have fixed the alignment. It's just one line, it's two lines there. So, let's teleport to Cantaloa, and where's this ATR-42? Alright, so... so the 72500 needs some updating, but this 42600, the French Italian pride of turbo props, it still doesn't give you advanced liveries, advanced customization though. But there's, is this a cargo door? Come on, why not make? Add some advanced customization so we can just change this into a full passenger airliner. So color one, that's the fuselage. Let's make that classic aircraft white. 
Oh, please, I put 227 on there, now it's back to 255. At least fix this thing, this text box. Then color 2 is the vertical stabilizer and the engines. So let's also make that color white. Yep, no cured it once yet. And there we go, that's our ATR 42600. With the improved flat fan blades. Yes, it's the 600 and it's just improved fan blades and this one, the 72 is uh, Really, it's lower quality fan blades, but this is an improvement. The ATR forty two six hundred. Let's have a stop over at Clarence and see where this. New Lockheed aircraft, and look at these! Oh, that was a German Concorde. And here we have the Lockheed L-1011-1. And so we got... They were modeled by a team of... It's remodeled by a team. With a combined effort there. But the, I guess it's the Pratt & Whitney engines. Alright, so color two are just the engines. And color one is the vertical stabilizer, the middle engine, and the fuselage. Let's make that aircraft white again. And color three are the wings. It's not 717, it's 171. And there's your Tristar. Let's make this one aircraft gray. Yeah, it should be darker than this one though. It's, let's make this jet black. All right, jet black. All right, your 1011 out. Yeah, this is the Lockheed L-1011-1. Let's, is this still purchasable? Yes. All right, let's, let's buy this and see what their configurations are. All right, so cargo variant, it's, you could upgrade it. You can convert this for 65,000 money, and here are the customizations. Oh, I thought it was brought in with me, uh, just what we got here, it's the Rolls Royce RB211. Saw that Conroy Sky Monster back then, and that's just transporting these, the 211. And you can upgrade it for 2,500 weeks points to the 211-524B. An improvement on the speed but at the cost of some range. And there's not much cosmetic changes there, are there really? 
Oh yes, it's uh, just the just the cap. And the, what do you call those in the middle? So that's the 22B, and this is the 524B. In the front lower cargo door, you wanted a small door or you wanted a large door? Oops, <laughs> that was the entrance. Okay, so there's the small door, and, and you can't see it. And there's a large door, you can't see it either. Would have been an improvement, but what the T and Y key does then. All right, so the underside, there's the a lounge reinforcement hump. Well, let's put this back to default. Okay, let's see what the difference is. All right, here's the reinforced hump. You can also add the orbital sizes X34 at the range of 10 kilometers. There's your launcher. <laughs> or you can have, you can put this one, the Northrop Grumman. Yeah, the Northrop Grumman Pegasus XL. And that includes the launcher, also at a cost of 10 kilometer range. How cool is that? <laughs> no wonder it's still not out of service yet. All right, so the tail fin you can add the frisbee. <laughs> All right, the tail fin there. This little thing here. It adds two kilometers. Add your tail. You can also this one here. It you can also. So, yes, you can add it. You can improve its door. The default says you will have one small door, and you can make this also a main door. It adds some capacity at the cost of speed. You can also change its base variant as well. It's this one here is the 250. Well, what? Yes. So, oh, we can. All right. This is um, above and below there. So let's start with the 100. The 100 variant. All right. So here's the 100 variant. The stall speed is a bit increased there. It just improves on the range. Well, it's, yeah, it's just cosmetic. And then there's the 200. More range. I don't see any cosmetic in here. Nothing cosmetic in here. And there's also the 250. More range, as usual. But where's the, uh, where's the improvement there? It's just a range. Oh wait, what I see here it on the wing. Yeah, so this is the 250. There's uh, improved wing there, and there's the 200. Yeah, not much improvement there. It's just the 100 and 200. There's nothing, but the 250 gives you a uh, a bit longer wing. All right, so the lower deck you can also. All right. Yeah, so we got an improved 250. That's just the wings. All right, so the lower deck you can you could have a standard door. You can have a lounge door. Where's that lounge door? Oh, there, this one here. So this little door. It's a lounge door, or you can make it a Sunset 3 mod. Means there's... 
you don't have to have the door. So standard, that's just... And then you can make a large door, you just make it visible, and then make it no, there should be no door at all. Alright, so the main cowlings, we can make it painted. And where is that? So you can make it metal or painted. It's probably color three. Yeah, it's yeah, color one. So if you want the painted male main cowlings, that would be color one. Same with the fuselage. And on the rear cowling, you can also make it painted. And um, okay, where's the, this one? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Here. So this is the if you want to make it metal or make it painted, and also the the these two engines here. And that's about it. That's your L ten eleven. I made it the two hundred and fifty variant, so let's go back to the one. Or make it one hundred. It's yeah, I prefer one. But remember that your it will always say L ten eleven L ten eleven one. It's on the title above you when you deploy it. So I don't know when we're going to uh can get to the actual names. So that was the Lockheed L-1011. Right, so this one's still one, still one. We'll make this 250 if I don't mind just getting these winch points out of here, so. Alright, let's spend these amount of winch points. Alright, so I got the 250. 30. Yeah. So yes, yeah, the 250. Will it be one? And yes, it's still one. All right, so let's end this flight right away. All right, it's great. It's still saved my data. Well, there should be a limit there. There's a limit there. All right. Uh. What the heck is a stargazer? <laughs> All right. So enough of that. We'll have to now teleport ourselves to Eisenhardt Municipal Airport using my favorite plane, the B two. Let's wait for the 340B to render. Here it is, the Saab 340B. And the second icebreaker to be released to the game, the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter, Healy. And for some reason, they just named it as a Healy-class icebreaker. So color one, this should be the let's make this maritime white.
Okay, this should be 24. Right, so color one, let's see. Most of the deck, and then color two is the lower deck. Let's make this jet black. Well, it matches with the uh, with the up uh, this upper deck here, but we'll make it a red. Let's make it some kind of red here, so. And color three, that should be the the flooring. Right, so is it on stock? Not yet. All right, so here's your Coast Guard Cutter Healy, or a Healy-class icebreaker. Oh, it has advanced customization as well. This is for 400,000 wings points. All right, so is it on stock this cycle? And not yet. Well, it should have the um, the surveillance job, like that nuclear icebreaker that we're going to come back. Let's now teleport to Kashio Airport. Where is Kashio? We'll use this E-190. And this is almost perfect. And this purple rarity search and rescue amphibian. Korewa Shinmei Wa US2. This. <laughs> Alright, so as I far as I know, it's Alright, so the color one should be around this kind of blue. Where is it? Around like this. Yeah, a bit darker than this one. And their color to the front here. It's, is it black or is it red? I'm not sure how. We'll make it jet black. Yeah, around this kind of jet black. Oh yes, it's, this should be white though, yes. This. All right, the... the color one should also, the color three should also be the same as the fuselage. So this is just the approximate coloring of this USD or <laughs> USN2, yes. Shinmeiwa US2 or USN2 or US2. What do you, how, how do you want to call this?
the main state aircraft of the, the Maritime Self Defense Force. Oh, they're so obsessed with L ten elevens right now. All right, let's teleport to Leovets International for our next aircraft. We'll teleport using this MS Watsat Odin. And where's the improved Il Bosembesiat Shift? The Il Yushin Il Bosembesiat Shift. It now has the NATO reporting scheme, Camber. Now, color one, that's the fuselage. Aircraft white as usual. Color two, the engines and the Well, yes, the engines and the vertical stabilizer, and color 3 are the wings. Alright, so if I click this once, it's just like that, it will just reset. Ugh, come on, I was typing 177, now it's like this? Oh, it was 171, now it's back to 255. Okay, so there's your... It'll... Oh, no, did I say some this yacht? I, I said, I did say Bosom this yacht. It's 80. So, here's your Ilyushin Il Bosom this yacht chef. Camber. I thought I said Il Sem this yacht, not Bosom this yacht. It's 76 at the one at Novorovsk. So, there's your. Here's the Ilyushin Il 86. Or wasn't this yet shift? I guess it was Rice and Javadi who remodeled this improved aircraft. Are there any? Yes, there's there's cargo. You could could you could <laughs> is this cargo or yeah, it's definitely cargo. Yeah, cargo stairs. That's... Oh, yes, you could have advanced liveries, but not the, uh, there's not much configuration you can see here. And I, I can see stairs. All right. So we'll revisit this. Model Icebreaker. All right, concurrent players. The Elke Shells not set ya. And where did I put that? Yes, I, I doctored at Solange. So, what's the improvement here? It has to do with the transport jobs, or yeah, the research jobs. Here's the randomized naming of this fast P or green seal. It's Well, that's a lot, but the closest one to Peculiar Apple, that's... It's just so short, it's... So this is like 200,000, and this is 350,000. But it takes a long while for, for these kinds of jobs, as usual.
So it's now a purple rarity boat. And we go back to Leavitz. There's Well, it's just one of the, the two divisicatere. It used to be like 600,000, now it's like 1,180,000. Other than that, it's just the usual Elke Shesnatset. Not Shesnatset, it's Shesnatset. Yeah, because uh, Shesnatset is 16 and uh, Shifts yacht is sixty. Um, what kind? Of... All right, to Novorossk Air Force Base. So here's Novorossk Air Force Base and. This is a blue rarity doomsday plane, the Ilyushin Il Vosemnats. Not Vosemnats, that's 18. The Ilyushin Il Vosemdesyat. Yeah, Il Vosemdesyat. The Il 80. The NATO reporting name is Max Dome. And it's, this one's also. Not, not also, it's a variant of the Il Bosom this yacht. It's still currently in service with the Russians. So, color one, as usual, that's the make it aircraft white. Uh, color two, as usual, the engines and the vertical stabilizer, that's also aircraft white. What job can this take? Uh, corporate and charter. It can also be customized, given it's uh, <laughs> if it's on stock. Uh, this one here, it's aircraft gray, or a darker shade of aircraft gray. And there's your Il Bosem de Siat, Il Eighty. The Max Dome. Not a bad range. All right, let's teleport to Oakport. Where's Oakport? And here's the ace, the freighter of Wizair, the Hungarian air cargo. All right, so there's a Dasso Falco. Where's the improved air? Oh, here it is. This blue rarity transport, the Airbus A330-743L. With nickname, the Beluga XL. Yeah, there's a... It's some kind of a low... What's this low range for? <laughs> It's only 227 kilometer range, unlike its uh, A330 variant. But here's the Rolls Royce engine. Or engines. Yeah, it uses Rolls Royce engines. And that's about it. That's your Beluga XL. What you should. The T key, you can open it. But here's your Beluga XL. So, color one. Let's make that aircraft white. Then color two is the vertical stabilizer, the engines, 
the wiglets and <laughs> the wiglets at the horizontal stabilizers. Yeah, these wingtip fences as well, but yeah. Okay, so the wiglets and wingtip fences. You ca can you call them wingtip fences in this one here? All right. Yeah, this is bl Airbus Blue. What's Airbus Blue? Bus blue. Okay, uh, I guess it's around this one. Zero twenty seven ninety one. Yeah, not not twenty seven. That's uh, thirty. Ah, oh, please. Stop bugging the text box. Yes, thirty zero thirty two ninety one. For the default Airbus caller there. That's and then let's put aircraft gray on caller three. And that's the Beluga XL, the oversized cargo transport variant of the Airbus A330. You could have made it with a. They could have made it with the advanced customization. You want to see A three fifty wings in here? <laughs> yeah, that's that could have been an improvement. Advanced customization. Put the A three fifty wings or any of those heavy transport craft. Or you could put it with the Y key, I guess. Alright, so let's revisit the Fast Sus class. Or It's not Sus class, it's really Fast Sus, is the name of this boat. Look at that, there's... You could add advanced customization, and look! There's coal! So I guess the advanced customization you could you could open and close this or is it the T and Y key? Right, there's the fast sus. Yeah. The fast sus, that's the actual name of the boat. And whoever called this a sus class should be <laughs> Should actually call it fast sus, not sus classic. You always get real boats out. Just call it by class. And there you go. That's the the fast sus cargo vessel. Let's now teleport to Sandris International. And yes, this is still named Dusseldorf. Little A380 <laughs> with the final K on it. So where's this new fighter plane? The Dusseldornier Alpha Jet A. According to here, this is the A variant. Alpha Jet. Right, so the Dassault, not Dassault, Dassault, or Dassault, Dassault Dornier Alpha Jet.
and you could add advanced customization to this. Uh, let's buy this right away. This will be a good one. Alright, so let's make this aircraft gray. And this one here, jet black. Alright, so initially this is the A variant, and can you advance it to like the. Okay, so you can also trust. You could transform this into the E variant, but not the MS. Really? What happened to the MS? So the A is the original German, and E is the French improvement. That's right, the French improvement. And the MS, it's, I think it's still used in some African countries. So here's the E, no light, and E with the light. This little one over here. Alright, so the center line you'll have a, you know, nothing in it, or you could add smoke. You could toggle this, I guess. All right, so I'll make it the E variant because we'll have to appease the French. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the A the A variant is no longer servicing with the Germans, but but for posterity, we'll we'll have to um convert this to the E. Not just convert, customize it to the E, but would you please add the MS? MS1, MS2, that would be a huge improvement. Oh, we got an Emirates 777. Oh, that's too bright. So we're still here at Sandris. Once again, the Alpha Jet E. Yeah, this is now an Alpha Jet E, not an Alpha Jet A. Now let's teleport to Seraphim, the Remnant facility. We'll use this XF-12. All right, so here's Seraphim with the uh, the wintry north. All right, it's about the sun is about to uh, set into the horizon, but there, there's already a dealership in here and another blue rarity aircraft, the Boeing Seven Four Seven Special Performance. With a cool naming acronym, the Stratospheric Observation for Infrared Astronomy, the SOFIA. And I guess you can toggle it with the T key. Yes, this one here. You can perform surveillance and weather hunting jobs on this. I guess this is the last 747 SP in service. In the front with the engines. Come on, you should make it a curated delivery as well. That could have been cool. Lur. Cooler. Get it? Cooler. Really, you make it a curated delivery, the that that that's a fat livery that could have been <laughs> Do 
default. Yeah, it could have been the default though, but there's your there's your research device. Other side. Oh, oh, Percy, are you he you're here now, Percy? Ah. Yes, Capetio is here. Capetio was here since the beginning of my recording. All right, so here it is, the Sophia. Let's, let's, let's. See what the colors are. So color one, we need to make it the <laughs> Um uh, sure, let me get let let me finish this uh uh this is irritating already. Please fix this ASAP. Alright, so color two, so what's I have to make so what what NASA blue is, please. Let's just It's just a northern air show, really. Come on. Uh, not midnight blue, it's... Uh... Okay, 1161, 145. Not 161, it's 61. There's your NASA blue, approximate. And then... Uh, Color three. All right, so there's your Sophia. <laughs> this, this acronym. <laughs> what a wise acronym. All right, so let's just teleport to Sandris again. What's going on at Sandris? All right, so there's a lot of 10 here. That's uh, I'm just. Please, that's nothing negative. What do you mean? You don't have to feel it that way. Okay, what's the, what's on the sky? I what's really what I'm looking at here? Just okay. There's a sort of chetire s. Okay, that's all. <laughs> yeah.
Let's now teleport to Toltenai Airfield for that amphibious tank. It's the first of its kind in the game. So it's not just a it's it's in the boat class, but it's really an amphibious tank. And let's start first with putting it with aircraft gray. Or is it Here's the amphibious medium tank. The amphibious medium tank. Alright, so let me read the Japanese. It's the Tokusanshiki Ushibite Kach. Not Kach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kachi. So, so Tokusanshiki, that's special type 3. And then Lodge, that's Ushibite. And the class, it's Ka Chi. So the special type 3 launch, Ka Chi. So special because it's uh, amphibious. And a type 3, that's the, the third of its type. There was a special type 2, and there's also a special type 1. And it's a launch. It's a a launch subclass. Yeah, subclass, not subclass. Ushibi te, Ushibi, and then that's the te. So that's launch as in launch like a rocket. Ushibi, and then that's kachi. That's the Japanese naming scheme. The kachi. Kushi. Right, let's now teleport to Valois International. We'll use this uh, 737-800 of Transavia. It's the Transavia France, to be exact, because it's Transavia is Dutch, and uh, it should have the um, PH registration prefix if it was Dutch, but it's French. So where is this new aircraft? All right, the F one C. The Dassault Mirage F1C. Yes, I'm saying it right. The F1C. Let's make it aircraft gray. All over. And there it is. The F one C. The F one C. Well, I, what kind of French? How do you pronounce that? They call it in French. It's F one C. F one C. What kind? Of, what? How do the French call their planes? The Mirage F one. F one. Uh, 
And there's your F1C of Death Saw. Pride of France. This early. Is that 1970s? Or. Really, it's probably 1980s. Alright, so we got an update from the A330 Beluga. And let's, for posterity, let's make this aircraft Y. Come on, please, don't, don't do this to me. Okay, what was Airbus again? Okay, 3291. Ah, come on, really? Make this aircraft gray. Yeah, a bit of an improvement of aircraft gray, though, but it's more red. All right, so... A Regarding this, they have actually greatly reduced the range of this Beluga. It used to be 264 kilometers, and now So if, if this could work, though, it could actually... go half of the map. So that would have been, <laughs> would have been fair if it got to Balwa, to Leovets, or Mehua. But will it make it even one flight without any refueling? Yeah. Any refueling in the middle, Clarence, I guess, or Harden. Yeah, so this would be a great challenge now. It's... Yeah, try to fly Levitz or Mehua to Valois, or the other way, without a fuel stopover. There's your challenge, 168 kilometers. It's like 400 already. It... Yeah, I'm not sure. Is this what? How could you? You have to get like one refueling stop, <laughs> and there's your A three hundred six hundred special transporter of Airbus the Beluga. Now, where did I put the F-15? Which F-15? The active. So, there's my active. It's at Wharton Airport. This little airport here in Avalon. If you want to know where Wharton is, let's zoom out. So it's uh, northwest of Anhedral. It's the international airport. Here's the city airport. It's just northwest. And for reference, here's the Dover. Here's the here's Do here's the pink point here. That's Dover, and here's Lambert and London. <laughs> just. Right then, let's see what the advanced customization is in. You can have two drop tanks and <laughs> night light. Alright, so you can put drop tanks. You can add some anti air missiles. You can put a drop tank at the center. Here's some more air-to-air -air missiles. Uh, 
you can light up the formation. And you can even change the variant into the early build of this F-15. It's just a rocket here. That they just change the engines. The short takeoff and landing. The Maneuver Technology Demonstrator. Yes, it's just the engines that are being improved here. This is the early prototype or experimental plane. And the the later. Looks like a normal engine right now. It's the active. So just stay it on the active side, but you've already got the the earlier build of the F-15. Alright, so there is also a craftable plane. That's XF something. Not XF, it's XB? Oh. Okay, my notes say... YF, not... <laughs> yes, it's not... It's a... Here it is, the competitor to the future F-22, the Northrop YF-23 Black Widow 2. And yes, this is... It's, this is real. It's... It's a... Real experiment or prototype. So, does it have any? No, <laughs> just it's all white. But not to worry, it's you can do the precision hard strike on this one. <laughs> The YF-23. Could have been the great F-23. There's your Black Widow. <laughs> and speaking of Anhedral City, let's teleport there and... Just have one plane there, global 70, 7500, and let's put the. It's not inventory, no, not inventory, it's options. Uh, I'm gonna put the static aircraft, and uh, where's the. Okay, performance, and then render park AI aircraft, and then let's see what. Are there already planes? So, according to this, they have already fixed the fuel trucks. You can now refuel at Anhedral City. My last, in the last update, you couldn't because they're just here for static purposes. Really, what's wrong with what? What was wrong with this airport? There's no static, uh, no static planes, and the same goes for Good K. Is it Good K? No, no, it's Capriano. Great, yes, because I was at Dell's live stream and I couldn't reveal at, at one of the. <laughs> trucks there, so where is the Capriano Airport? So we'll use this Avanti for the DC-6. Or not DC-6, it's the HC-6. So you could actually fuel now with, you could now, you could, you could now refuel at these trucks. Instead of just going to the field tank over here, so that's that's an improvement, a great improvement to Capriano Airport as well as Anhedral City. The 
let's teleport to Porto Metasus. We'll use this C390. It's the Portuguese Air Force. <laughs> And it's now, look at this! Where is it now? It's close to Avalon! Wow, that's... There's Himmelsburg. Is this Himmelsburg? I guess. Let's check the ATC. It's... Alright. Right, so here's Petron Ring 6, 8, and 7. And this is Amaras. Great. So it's close to Amaras, to Madeira. Now you can actually, if you have an ATR, you can fly Binter. Because Binter only flies their planes with the AT, planes to uh, Madeira with the ATR. Right, so that was uh, Porto Metasas, the pseudo Tenerife North. Look at this, we got static aircraft. Short range travel. Oh, <laughs> really? It's a an Avro one hundred or BAE three hundred. So an Avro one hundred RJ one hundred park at this with a bridge. How could you? Alright, so the other place will teleport back to Good K Regional. There is Good K. We'll use this meh Swai Hunter Swai and Six thing. Or the 737 of Corendon. Yeah, Corendon, it's Malta, not Turkey. Uh, what's the Turkey? Or... <laughs> Alright, so here's Good K Regional, and there should be aircraft in here. Where did the aircraft go? Oh, really? No aircraft? Current players. Oh, Capetio's still here. Percy's still here. Some others. Right, so there's no parked aircraft at Good K right now. There will be, maybe in the next cycle. Let's have a brief look at Kitesboro. And you could have tripped while you take off or land at the runway. I hope it doesn't happen again. Right, so you could have tripped over here. You could have botched your landing at our takeoff. And finally, let's teleport to Sat Baralku. Where's Sat Baralku? We'll use the Baron. Or teleport with the Baron. 58. So, the runway numbers. It used to be 927. They've changed it to 523, as in Ockany Island. Well, that was overlooked. 927, 523. And there you go. We've got a raid day here at Sant Paralku Airport. The pseudo Sant Bartholomew.
or Gustav the Third? How do you want to call it as? Is it Gustav the Third? Gustav the Third or Saint Barthélemy? <laughs> On this rainy day. And with that. I will see you everyone on the next Aeronautica video.